Good morning, y'all. I told you I'd be back with a video today. You hear something in the background. Somebody in the background. It's little guy. Little man. He's on it today. But anyway, I'm making um, Mississippi roast. Pot roast. And um, I'll show you guys what I have. And here, I've got my roast. It's a beef roast. And then I got... You need a Hidden Valley Ranch Packet. You need some pepperoncini peppers. I didn't open this, so it might spill. But some beef broth. Now I'm going to assemble it all together. And I'm going to cook mine on low, since it's Sunday and... We're going to be home all day. Might as well. First, I'm going to salt and pepper my... The recipe said... Oh, yeah, and i got to get my butter out. but Because butter is part of the recipe, too. But for some reason, it says salt and pepper your meat. I figured that the ranch and this and that would be enough salt. But I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I got my black pepper. I've been looking at this recipe on Facebook and stuff like that for a really long time. But I just haven't tried it yet. So it's new to me. Alright, so I got salt and pepper on my meat. I'm going to pour in my beef broth by Swanson. I got the 50% less sodium kind because i got to watch that. I don't want to over salt it. Yeah, I have my crock pot on low. It'll probably cook for about six to eight hours. And then we'll check it out. Alright, so now I'm going to add my ranch. I think the original recipe calls for, um, what's that certain uh, juice? Add you. Aju, whatever it's called. Aju juice. I'm probably saying it way wrong, but. A U J U. That's how you spell it. It calls for that, but I've seen an, an easier recipe where you just buy a can of beef broth. So that's what I did. There's my ranch. Let me get my butter. And technically it does call for a whole stick of butter. I don't have a stick of butter. I wasn't going to buy a stick, a box of sticks just for this one recipe. So I figured I'd just do about two tablespoons of table butter. Same thing. Really and truly. Alright, got that done. And then I just bought this brand, v Vigo, Vigo Greek peppers. Same thing as pepperoncini. I mean, it even says pepperoncini. Opening this is going to be my challenge. Hold on. I'll use the bottom of my shirt. There we go. Alright, so it says you can put the whole peppers in there, which is what I'm going to do because my husband don't, is not going to eat them. Gonna put the whole things in there. It didn't say how many to add or not add, so I'm just gonna do what I want to, what how much I want to add. I personally love pepperoncini peppers. I can't get that last one. that one out. All right, and now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of the actual juice. Oh, Lord. It's making a mess. All right. And that's all you're supposed to do. It's 
it actually the mixture of the ranch and beef broth and then that pepper juice smells really good already so this is what it looks like got my beef broth my meat salt and pepper ranch seasoning butter about eight peppers and then some pepper juice so I will keep in touch with you guys as this cooks throughout the day and then I'll show you how I serve it up so check back in there we are so it's been on now for about 12, one probably three hours not too long but this is what it's looking like I think I'm gonna try turning this piece of meat over just because it's so big I feel like it needs to I don't know it's huge Smells good. But that's what it's looking like now. So I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, I finally freed up some space. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the meat and all that. It's done been eight. But it did shred really good. It did have a little kick to it, but not like a, kind of like a tangy kick. Nothing too bad. But I toasted some, I toasted my hoagie roll with, put a little butter, toasted it. Then I spread an even layer of mayonnaise. I did pepper pepper jack cheese. Yeah, pepper, pepper jack cheese, some meat, a couple of the peppers out of the crock pot. And that was it. And I had it with broccoli. And it was really good. I'll insert a picture of my sandwich, though, somewhere. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good week. Bye.